What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Nathan Edgington, BCC Happy, Death Singer, Kaylee McRae, Jennifer San Marco, Sharday Ratter, Ember Quill, XX Raiden XX, Loiso Crow, Thomas Gabriel White, The Common Cold, Grimex Law 22, Hayden Morandini, Evil Twin 01, Starman 12, Daniel Hudson, Tiffy, Goku, XS7, Gwiri 9, Douglas Varon, Carl Lee, Abigail Stemper, John Beck, Mark Rios, Taylor Mitchell, and OXL. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. Nope. Nope. You motherfucker every time. Right behind you. What? How? Ah, oh, damn it. How am I going to explain this to my wife? The Candyman has left quite an effect on people. Not the bees. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is. That's, 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 it is. It is. It, it is. is. I mean, Supposedly, yes. yes. And the, the thing, thing is, is the Candyman, candy it's, it's, it's such a strange concept that has been changed and, you know, talked, talked about. And, you know, it's, it's, the, it, it's, it's the same thing as Bloody Mary. Mary. You know, you, you look, look in the mirror, mirror and you say Bloody, Bloody Mary three times and she shall appear. And so is the same with, with the Candyman. Candy oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Candyman, candy uh, I forget how many times, but, but, but he, he appears and he kills you with his, his hook. And his hook, not, not like your stereotypical, stereotypical like, pirate hook, you know, it's not, it's not like, like the, the, the like, uh, full, like, like semicircle hook, or not, or not even like a overarching hook. hook. It's, it's a, a sharp, sharp, like, angled hook, like a, like a triangle hook. It's very terrifying looking. It's very jagged. And, and Tony, Tony Todd, Todd killed, killed it. Yeah, and Tony and Tony Todd killed it. No, no pun intended. intended. But okay, okay, very, very much, much intended. Tony Todd Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> I, I, intended, I, I intended that, that one. Fine, Fine I, admit. I admit it. <laughs> but, but Jordan, Jordan Peele, whom we have, have loved his work in the past, past from Key and Peele, and Get, get Out, the less we say about... Uh, the, the less, less we, we say about, um, friggin, uh, what was it again? Us. Us, yes, thank, thank you. you. The, the less, less we say about us, the better. Apparently some people are. No, and I'm, disagree. and I'm not saying that your opinion on it is, like, anyone's opinion out there who liked it is terrible. I it's think just, if it came out before Get Out, that I might have had a little better opinion of it. I just didn't feel like it was on the same level as Get Out. I was hoping for something else, like, next fucking level like he did with Get Out. Yeah, but... Again, you can't expect him to keep outdoing himself. Yeah. The thing is, artists tell the stories that come to them. In which, for this one, uh, to hear that he was producing this, he's not directing this, but he is producing it. And, and to see, see the, the uh, actors that, that they, they have lined, lined up, up it, it, this is going to be good. good. This, this is going to be really good. I still didn't and, actually catch who they all cast it as. You'll see... You'll, You'll see, see uh, apparently, because, because uh, he, I, I've heard, heard that he's revealed in this, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that's why I say, I guess you'll see. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to say, it's true. come across my Facebook for a couple weeks, and I'm like, no, I want to react to this. Yes, because we have a lot to say. Yeah, and the Candyman, you know. I've actually watched this movie again, like, recently, too. Oh, yeah? Within the past year. Nice. I was like watching some extra stuff too, and it was really fascinating how they made this movie where they actually went to that place in uh, Chicago, I think. Yeah. yeah. Is it either? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's, a, it's closer to somewhere like Flint or something. But yeah, I think it's like an actual project, and they were talking about how their actual gang members like hang out and they went and shoot and stuff, you know, and they had to be like, hey, can we be here to do this? And stuff? Yeah, they, they had to bribe. They, they had, actually had to bribe them. 
Yeah, it kind of made it sound like they were sort of like just kind of interested in it. They were like, all right, <laughs> like kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Well, it it added a lore, lore and in, in terms, terms of like, like in, inter, in, in the inner city, city it, it added a lore to, to like Chicago and added a... it. Lore does, does not necessarily have to be true. true. I mean, there's a whole lot of lore surrounding surrounding our area, like the uh, the Lover's Cliff. Have you ever heard about it? Yeah, Lover's Cliff, uh, apparently, you know, the story goes that a long, long time ago, a man and a woman were in love, they couldn't be together, and while he was on his way over to see her, uh, he fell from the uh, cliffside and died, and, and she, she went to the, to the place where he fell, fell off and died, and uh, uh, she, she jumped, jumped too. Now, I believed that story when I was a kid, but after doing research, uh, you find out that it's actually not true at all. I mean... Stories don't have to be true in order, in order for them to be lore, in order for people to, you know, take them as, uh, as like, people have legends that they still believe in, people have, uh, like, little, uh, superstitions that they, keep. you know, there's a black cat crossing your path mean you're gonna have bad luck? Not in the real world, but to people out there, yes, there is some bad juju surrounding that. Same thing with, uh, you know, breaking a mirror. Same thing with, uh... Breaking, breaking in, uh, you know, same, same thing with splitting, splitting the pole. pole. That means, uh, you, know, you know, whenever two people walk between a pole uh, with whenever their hands are clasped, if they, if they break that pole, if they, they break their hand grip during the, you know, to get around the pole, pole then that, that means uh, that, that means that you're going to die. I mean, I mean there's a whole lot of, like, like lore and legends and stuff, stuff that people still take as, as, as gospel in some ways. And uh, the Candyman is, uh, oh. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry about, about that. that. Technical, Technical difficulties. difficulties. I have no idea how in the hell that happened, but it, it did. So I guess I just we'll just have to deal with that in post production. production. But, but yeah, yeah, big, big time. time. Anyway, anyway uh, we, we have, have a Candyman, candy the official, official trailer on screen. screen. Let's, Let's see what's up with the Candyman. Candyman. The urban legend is if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror, he appears in the reflection and kills you. Who would do that? Candyman. 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 Stupid, stupid, stupid kids. Well, we're still alive. <laughs> Let's go. Trina, you broke the door. I feel really connected to this neighborhood. Yeah. Cabrini Green. Uh, that's a young uh, project. That just moved in around the corner. The old candy factory. I'm an artist. You look up a candy man. He's the monster that's part of this neighborhood. Why are you drawn to this? I'm hoping to spread the story. Wait, let's say my name, but I invite you to summon him. <laughs> You should say his name. I do. Candyman. 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 Uh -uh. Don't say that. Candyman. Damn. Oh, I see. You can only see the computer to the black. I think I made a mistake. Oh, my God. I brought him back. Something's happening to me. He had a purpose for you to be another one of his terrible stories. I guess he found me. I'm done. The running on the wall. Look, look. 
he, like, like, he, he looks, looks a lot, lot different, different in that than he does a of Ian. <laughs> this is happening on the television. So I guess the way that he used the color of the window to make you wonder, wonder is, like, like, is, is that his reflection, or is that something? So I guess Yaha Abdul Latin is going to be the candidate, which, given what I'm seeing here, this looks like it, like, all this right here, where we see, like, what the candy man uh, looks like in terms of what he's doing. Like, look at this. He's, you can see him behind the screen. You can see a shadow. And let's see here. You can see him in the reflection right here, too. You can, you can only, only see, see his reflection. There's the hook. You can, you can only see, see his reflection. You're, You're only able to see him through reflection. You're not actually able to see see him. That's that's wicked, dude. I love that. I love this shot right here because you're seeing him in the reflection of the of the windows that are behind him, and meanwhile he's being this guy's being dragged back, back, and then you finally see him in the mirror there, lifting him up. Oh, oh God! Wait, 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 wait! For real? Okay. okay. I can't find the casting for the Candyman for sure, but uh, Candyman Candy 2024, right? Yeah. Like this is not both <laughs> movies, and, and what, what I, I see here. Oh, they, they got, got Tony, Tony coming, coming back. back. Hey, so, like, shit! Hey, if that's correct. That's fucking awesome. Okay, if uh, I love that image right there too. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's such great imagery, dude. Tony Todd. Hell yeah. Yeah, Tony Todd and Vanessa Williams are reprising their roles from the original film. Hell yeah, dude. Damn. I'm even more stoked now. This is gonna be awesome. But it's like what I'm wondering is, uh, so, so if this is like a reboot or something. Awesome. Awesome. I don't know if it's a reboot or if it's a sequel. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's both. Maybe, maybe it's effectively the Candyman to revive. I know, I know like, uh, that, that project building that the original took place in was apparently torn down. It is. And um, if they, they just, just did this as, like, like, a modern day sequel, then well, well, they, they could be doing it. Well, 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 like, well, like, well, because what I was originally worried about is, I was like, did they replace the main character with a dude? Because that, that was, like, like the whole deal, deal with, like, the original he was, was like, basically, like, quote-unquote, like, seducing her. Oh, right here. The church, and there's the project building in the background. Right, right there. there. Project, project building is yeah. gone. Okay. okay. So, that's so that's the, the church. Yeah, yes, I think, I think so, so, too. too. So, so, I think, I think what, what it is is effectively the spirit of the Candyman is still out there. He might just be looking for a new vessel to occupy. And what if Yad Abdul Mateen... That that, 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 the, you know, that, you know, that character, character is his new vessel, vessel. and he, in turn, throughout the film, becomes more and more like the Candyman because of it. It's, it's effectively the same thing with Hereditary. I don't know if you've seen Hereditary, uh, but but okay, but okay. This is a classic demon possession ideal. In order for a demon to fully possess a human body the person's will has to be weak enough to where it is willing to take in the spirit. To which I think that's what's happening here throughout this film. Very slowly, this character's psyche and his confidence and his will are going to be broken down piece by piece by piece. And then eventually, eventually, the candy man is going to make his move to try and occupy him as a vessel. Maybe, but and, why would he need to do that whenever he's still perfectly able to let him be? Well, well, I, I don't, don't think, think he's 100% killing, killing people. I think, I think effectively, he like he's well, no, no, I, I think, think it might be something like, like someone or something else. else. Because I think it's, he wants to exist in the real world, but the only way he can come into the real world is when he's summoned. And maybe it's on a limited time frame. And maybe he wants to exist in the real world so he can just do, do as he pleases. It's, it's almost, almost like, like the demonic entity... entity uh, who possesses somebody, but yet, yet they, they know it's a limited thing because they can be exercised versus if they fully migrate and transubstantiate to this plane of existence, then they can do as they please. It's the same thing and concept with an angel cutting its wings. 
Because an angel with its wings either has to be cast into hell or has to go back to heaven. They can't just exist on this plane with their wings and with their holy abilities. They have to have their wings cut off and transubstantiate or they have to be cast into hell. I mean, it's... it. Gosh. There's such good shit here, dude. Such good stuff. This looks and I, awesome. And I can't wait. I, I can't wait to see this. I, I'm excited. I've been up in for a horror film since us, <laughs> us was disappointing, so I hope this is not as disappointing. Maybe Hopefully so. Well, me and the... This, see, I know more what I'm expecting to get with this. Because us, I just got a trailer, and I had to piece together what I thought it was going to be from the trailer. And I, I'd already imagined something grander in my head than what it ended up actually being. Nia DaCosta, where have I heard that name before? Oh, Little Woods, okay. That was her. Not from that. I, but yeah, I remember... I think I got the name because I originally saw that she was cast for this. Well, she's uh, she's directing it, and she co-wrote it. Oh, correct. Yeah, yeah, that's why, yeah, I looked up... She co-wrote it with Jordan Peele and Wayne Rosfeld. Rosenfeld, okay. So Jordan did help write this. So. Yeah, so it's got his signature yeah, yeah, to it. Yeah, he's just a producer, like he still has some. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. Tony, Tony Todd, Todd, there, there he is. is. Vanessa, Vanessa Williams. Williams. Damn. Yeah. It was actually based partially off of the Light Worker story. Oh, yeah, the, the Forbidden. forbidden. It, it, it's, it's an amalgamation between what, what uh, Bernard, Bernard Rose, Rose, what he wrote uh, to, to coincide with the Candyman, uh, uh, what came from, from Clyde Barker's The Forbidden. And he, he just gave it a name. He gave, gave it a more proper name. name. And, and a more proper flesh and stuff. stuff. So I don't know why watch the movies and play games. Clive is Clive is a very, very demented soul. I mean, Hellraiser, Candyman, Gods and Monsters. Oh wait, it's just, I, I know, I know he writes. writes I'm, I'm just like, like I'm such, such a big fan, fan of his visual stuff, stuff that he makes. That I, 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 I gotta read it to see, see if I can get the same kind of mental pictures that he. Makes me want to show stuff. Like, just looking at the like, I don't know if my brain could come up with that from any kind of description. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody could have gotten me like, a close description, probably, but like, probably wouldn't have been near close to what he actually had in movies. So, crazy, like, Clive Barker has not directed a film since 1995. Yeah, he hasn't done that Damn. He, he, okay, so he transferred into video game design, and effectively since then, he's not really done anything yeah, else. Kind of of well, well, he, he yeah. tried. Yeah. I mean, that's, like he's, uh, well, he's, he's working, working on two more things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Hellbound Hell Hard, Hard, which, oh, oh, oh that's, that's the remake, remake of Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the name of the book that it's based off of. And then Born, which is uh, something he's producing. Uh, uh, damn. Uh, uh, non-fiction. No, Hellraiser sequels have never really been very good. Oh, that's fine. Hellraiser, the, the Trolls, the Scarlet, the Scarlet Gospels. Gospels. It's like the second, like, the second, like, the second, the second third Hellraiser is like entertaining, but they're just fucking Uh, like, like, you were talking, talking about, about them remaking shit, shit, by the way? Yeah. yeah. That, that was not, not good, good to start, start with, and then making it awesome? Fuck Jericho. Jericho. If okay. a good game company remade Jericho and made it great, that would be bad fucking ass. But, but you, know, you see, that's the thing I think they need to do with... It. Remakes... People remake things that are already great. Now, if they try and say something different... If you remake different. things that are timeless, if you remake things that have visibly aged, that's okay. Well, yeah. Well, well, well for, for me, me I, I, I can think, think of, t- uh, like, like there's, there's very few remakes, remakes and retellings, retellings that, that I think are superior. The, the one that I think is one that I think is 100% superior. superior. The one that I think is 100% superior. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the, the one, one in the middle. Slightly sorry. Slightly yeah, sorry about that. It's the one in the middle. But there's... One, One film, film I can really say is actually truly superior, superior to its original, original and that's True Grit. Grit. I don't know if you've ever seen True Grit. Uh, the, the original starred John Wayne, and it was made back in 1969, and it was pretty good. But then, then I saw the one that the Coen brothers, brothers did with Jet Bridges. 
Holy hell, what a movie. Some people have said Dawn of the Dead or Evil Dead, but I don't really agree that the remakes are mm-hmm. better than the original. I don't think they I are. I think that the Dawn of the Dead remake is probably scarier than the original, but I don't think yes. it's necessarily like a better movie. No, no, it's, it's a, a different, different take, take. And, and, that, and you see, that's, that's one thing I can respect about Zack Snyder's, Snyder's vision for that film, is that he wanted to make it scarier. He wanted to have the zombies that were actually terrifying, and were, were actually a threat, were a legit threat. And well, see, the originals are a threat because of numbers. Well, like, yeah, they yeah. impede movement, like you can't move freely without taking a bunch of them out of numbers. Exactly, but when they're running at you, like just one can fucking take you down. Yeah, when one is running at you versus versus a thousand droning in the distance, it's like, oh, well, I guess we'll take this road. Versus like ten of them hunting in a pack, all coming for you. The other thing about the original zombies is uh, they weren't always super loud. Sometimes they'd sneak up. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, and then you also talked about the Evil Dead. I think Fanny Alvarez, what he did with the Evil Dead remake was stupendous. My I favorite think. part about that was giving them a really good reason to stay in the cabin. Yeah, yeah because... And, and, like, because like, giving them a reasonable, reasonable doubt whenever somebody started being shit's fucked up. And it's like, like, oh, you're, you're just, just coming, coming off throat. throat. Like, yeah, yeah, you're, 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 you're having, having a bad, bad time. time. Yeah. We, we, we sympathize, sympathize with you, but we're, we're not leaving the cabin. And then all of a sudden, shit starts going downhill fast. And then by the time they try to leave, it's already too late. The bridge is gone and the storm is coming. And it's still overall the, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I love uh, I love Jane Levy. She, she did, did great in that film. She was terrifying. Bruce but Bruce, but yeah. Bruce is Bruce. Yeah. It's, it's hard, hard to beat that. that. I know he's cheesy, but I still love him. He's he's the B movie king. What can you say, dude? All right. Well, well, <laughs> well, that, well, that was, was the Candyman candy trailer. trailer. Uh, uh, we, we hope that you all enjoyed it. it. I, I don't, don't know. know. Uh, you had the you had it pulled up. Comes out. Release date should be in the list there. June 12th. Woo! Close to that spot. I think this is going to be worth seeing. Oh, yes. And that's near my birthday, too. too. So, so that'd be a hell, hell of a thing, thing to see before my birthday. birthday. So, again, again everybody, thank, thank you all very much for tuning, tuning in. in. And uh, just to uh, solidify, solidify the, the feeling, feeling of this. this. Yeah. Blood, Blood red. So, so, again, again everybody, thank, thank you very much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Nate. Nate. We'll see, we'll see you the next time, everybody. Nick. 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 Nick.